Iwo woni eke nae mono. No na kanal Iwo Tutorials. Aha mbonwa da blessing if na ya chekoma. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Iwo Tutorials. My name is Blessing if na ya chekoma. In today's lesson we're going to talk about negative verbs. Okay, how to conjugate sentences using in the positive form. Okay, and the key word here we are going to use is he. He. Okay, if you're ready, let's jump right into it. So the first set we're going to talk about here is negative simple present tense, okay, or simply negative tense, uh, present tense, okay. And the first one we have here is ha abohi umune. Remember the verb ibo to be verb to be um if you haven't looked at that lesson i'm going to put a link below for you to go and look at that lesson on how to conjugate uh the verb to be in the Igbo language okay so the first example we have here is ha bo you munne which means they are not siblings abohi take note of the he adding the verb ibo and he you get the uh, negative aspect of a present tense okay the second example nka bobo anyi anohe ala noche anya anohe ala noche we are not sitting on the chair right now uwa anyi anohe ala noche Moving on, here we have the negative in the future tense. If we want to talk about something we have, we will not do in the future tense, we say, for example, ha agahi aga oru echi ha agahi aga oru echi. They won't go to work tomorrow. Look again. He, he, aga, ha gai aga, aga, to go, ha gai aga, they won't go to work tomorrow, or they will not go to work tomorrow. Again, go revisit our lesson on the able, the verb to be, and it's going to be more understandable to you, okay? Another example we have here is aga him. Abia, aga him abia, I will not come. Aga him abia, I will not come. Okay, moving on. And the last part for it is the negative past tense. Okay, how do we say something that happened in the past in the negative form? We will use example that we used in the future tense. Okay, in the future tense, we said, aga yaga. Uh, or or something like that. Here we have Hagahi Ahia Izuka Garaga Agahi. Now we did not add the aga because aga is verb to um, to go. Okay. Here we say just agahi, just this one. And another thing that um, gives you the hint that it's past tense is Gara past aga, like the verb to be that have already been. I don't know if I'm making sense. So it's Hagaya here is Garaga. They did not go to work last week. Okay. Let's use another example. Agahim Akuwa Onwano. Agahim Akuwa Onwano. I didn't go to school for four months. Agahim Gahim Agahim I Akuwa Onwano. 
Um, I know it might seem a little bit confusing, but that's why we have the comment section. If you have any questions in this lesson, please do not hesitate to write and I will be there to answer your questions. And as I said, you might find it a little bit difficult if you don't go through the previous lesson on the verb to be and the verb to go. I will put the links uh, in the description box or somewhere up there. So you just go there and um, take this lesson and you will pick up. Thank you for coming to this lessons and uh, hope to see you next time. Till next time, go messia the bye, you know.